So you know, there's such a lack of rigor in, in education in general today. And religion makes demands of people that is just so inconsistent with the slacker mentality that so dominates American life today. Yeah, I think that that's a really great point. And what it you know causes me to think of is the whole culture of self-love. So our, our secular culture tells us we are the most important entity, that we're our own gods, that anything we feel and want is justified and good and moral, that if I want to wake up and do one thing that may be considered sin, for example, I should do it because it's, you know, it's it's all about me. So when you're teaching people that, and it's self fulfillment, and and, yes. and plus and plus it's voluntary, and it's not you're not in any way coercing anyone else, and it's instant gratification, self fulfillment. So when when you're kind of carrying that idea, where people are, you know, thinking that they're basically their own god, yes, that makes sense. That then when they're confronted with you know, um, a higher calling to give up those things and to, you know, not look to themselves for fulfillment, but to look to God for fulfillment and to rely on him and trust in him and to follow him and serve him. Um, I think that, yeah, there is correlation there, um, which which is really quite interesting. And you did, you made a great point. So at CPAC, we, we talked a bit and you made a great point about one of the biggest issues that America is facing is the detachment from traditional values um, and, you know, even you know, kids not respecting their parents. And I think that, again, answers all these questions as well. Well, you know, 